Forecast. A bit of a lift. Yeah, and our reporter Adam McLean has been catching up with some of our regular snappers to see which parts of the region inspire them to take their best photos. The Isle of Man is home to more than 80,000 people. But one resident has helped brighten up the most gloomy of weather forecasts. Mary Davies likes to take photos at the top of Bradder Head, in particular from a tower that rests on its peak. Forty-seven steps take visitors to the top of Milner's Tower. It was built in honour of Liverpool's safe maker William Milner, in the shape of a lock and key. It's one of my favourite spots because I live in Port Erin. From here, you've got spectacular views of the Calf of Man, over to Port St Mary, over as far as Castletown, and you can look up the coast as far as Peel, which is 11 miles away. Um, the island, I don't think you can really explain or beat it. It's got everything. It's got beautiful green fields. We've got cliffs, spectacular views, lovely old villages rural things and lots in the town as well. For Mary, it's about finding the right angle to take the photo, even if it means getting your hands dirty. Get down, just bend down and look and you'll see the colours in the sand, you'll see reflections of things. Same on um, lakes or reservoirs. It may not appear straight away, but when you look closely, you'll see the reflections. And you don't need expensive equipment to enjoy it and to learn it. The main thing is enjoy it. Mary's favourite way of capturing stunning scenery is to take two photos. She then stitches them together to make an incredible panorama. I'm speechless. Aren't they beautiful? Brilliant stuff. The wonderful Isle of Man. Okay, let's get the weather forecast now. Here's Helen Plint. 